All right, so in this video, I want to solve these rational equations over here. So if you notice these examples, they already have a common denominator on both sides. This one just has one denominator on this side. It has a common denominator on the left and the right. There's no denominator. And here I have a common denominator on the left, common denominator on the right. So these questions, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cross multiply. This first example, I'm just going to cross multiply the x plus 3 over. So I have x minus 3 equals to 2 times x plus 3. And now we can just solve this like a linear equation. And I multiply the 2 into the bracket. And then I'm just going to move like terms to the same side. So I'm going to move the x to this side and the 6 to this side. So over here, I have negative 3 minus 6, because plus 6 becomes minus 6. On this side, I have 2x, which stays the same. And then it becomes minus x, because I move the x to the other side. Negative 3 minus 6 is just negative 9. And 2x minus x is just x. And then that is my final solution for the first one. Let's do the same with this second one over here. I'm going to start with cross multiplying, but I'm going to do it with both sides now. I have a denominator on both sides. So I have 2 times 3x minus 1 equals 5 times x. Let's multiply here. So 6x minus 2 equals 5x. I'll move the 6x so it's on the same side as the other x term. It's going to become minus 6x. So negative 2 equals negative x. And then divide both sides by negative 1 to get positive 2 equals x. So that's my solution for the second one. Let's go to the third question over here. Again, I'm going to cross multiply. So I have x minus 1 times x plus 3 equals to x times x plus 1. i got to expand these out now with foil. So first times first, which is x squared. You should know FOIL pretty well at this point, hopefully. Minus x minus 3. Here I'm just going to expand. So x squared plus x. Then I'll combine like terms on this side here. So I just have x squared plus 2x minus 3 equals x squared plus x. And... I'm going to move the x square and the x to this side just for now because it looks quadratic, but eventually you'll realize it's actually not quadratic. But if it's quadratic, remember you want to move everything to one side and make it equal to zero. In this case, it's actually not quadratic, like I said, because the x square terms actually cancel each other out, positive and negative. 2x minus x is just x. I have x minus 3 equals zero. And I just move the 3 to the other side and I get x equals. 3. And last one over here, again, I'm going to start with cross multiplication. So I have x minus 2 times x plus 5 equals x minus 4 times x plus 3. I'm going to file out both sides. x squared plus 5x minus 2x minus 10 equals x squared plus 3x minus 4x minus 12. I'll combine like terms on both sides. So here, this is going to become 3x. And over here, this is going to become minus x. And again, this looks quadratic. But when I move the x squared to this side, it will cancel out. So I'll actually move everything to one side again, just to make things a bit easier. So minus x squared plus x plus 12 equals 0. And again, you notice the x squares cancel out. So this one is not quadratic again. 3x plus x is just 4x. Negative 10 plus 12 is plus 2. You can move the positive 2 to the other side. And I can divide both sides by 4. If I simplify this, my final answer will be x equals negative 1 over 2.